Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Today's work is right here. It's this BMW 328i and that Ford F250. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is this BMW. If you notice, it's very oxidized. It doesn't look like it gets must, much uh, love at all. I'm gonna have to compound and polish this uh, trunk lid but the plan on this one is just uh the universal all-in-one and then get the interior looking good definitely looks like they don't get much love but that's where we're at straighten out these headlights Yeah, those fog lamps are gross, so I'll sand those down and get those looking good. The beamer's in rough shape, but we'll get it straight. So we're going to get the van un unloaded and get rolling on the beamer. Ooh, I'm worried about that. I can definitely do a few things some tests and then we'll go from there so all right I'm gonna get everything ready and then we'll go ahead and get it all prepped up ready for polish and while I'm polishing the outside I'll have Tony working on the interior it's a great system we have and she gets to learn from the best yours truly it is what it is all right I have washed and decontaminated the exterior I got Tony working on the inside right now uh, I still need to clean the wheels, tires, and fender wells, but right now I got my little setup up here. You can see how bad the fog lamps and headlights are. Uh, what I'll be using is the uh, Harbor Freight DA with the uh, three and a half inch Buff and Shine backing plate, a brand new four inch Buff and Shine uh, orange pad. This pad cuts amazing, but it polishes awesome too. It's a great one-step pad. Um, I will be using the Universal All-in-One uh, on the whole vehicle, but on these headlights, I am gonna sand with uh, 2000 grit, and I'll be using Infinite Cut to cut out the sand scratches, and then I'll finish it with Universal All-in-One. Uh, that is what is gonna be the protection for the whole car. This is a prep for sale detail. I'm sorry about the uh, vacuum noise, but it is what it is. It can't stop production to yap. So anyway, that's the plan and the setup right now. Um, I ran my Flexzilla extension from the generator. That's the Briggs & Stratton uh, P2200. It's awesome, I love those. Um, like I said, I still gotta clean the wheels and stuff, but I got the paint where I need it to get things rolling but right now I'm uh, gonna start on these headlights so I'll get probably that side done I'll bring you back and show you the difference all right I got half of the lights done so this is what it looks like before I do them all yellow and this is after nice and clear uh, that is actually all on the inside believe it or not I can't even access that uh, and I feel like it's so deep that if I continue to sand it, I'm just going to compromise the structural integrity of the, the plastic. So it's not worth it. And it's for sale. In my opinion, I just like that it's not, both of these are not yellow anymore. So, uh, like I said, I just, all I did was uh, I sanded with 2000 grit. Then I used infinite cut and this orange buff and shine pad to get that result. I have not used the uh, universal all-in-one yet. I don't want to contam contaminate my pad because I'm trying to get a lot of cut out of uh, infinite cut. And if you add the uh, ceramic acrylics blend that's in here, it's going to add some lubricity that we don't want. So um, I'm going to use the same pad, but I'm going to use it after I'm done with infinite cut. So I'm going to go ahead and knock these other two out, but those two look great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, headlights and fog lamps are complete. They look very presentable. 
especially for resale. Look nice. Um, I did find that using Universal uh, Clean and Prep as my uh, lubricant for the clay bar definitely helped better than normally I just use regular water, but I use the Universal Clean and Prep, then I use, then I sand it on top of that, and it seemed to break down. It just worked with the abrasive to get rid of that yellowing. I think I'll use that as my lube from now on instead of uh, using water. All right, headlights done. Time to uh, polish the exterior with Universal All-in-One. Lots of oxidation. No real clarity to speak of. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put a piece of uh, masking tape down and polish a section and I'll be right back to show you what's happening. All right, I got Tony still vacuuming. Sorry about the noise, but you can see how hazy it is. But I did a tape line. You can see the difference in uh, everything. The clarity is way more pronounced. Obviously, that's the tape line. And see how hazy and not clear it is compared to here? Now, there's still a lot to be desired for sure. But when you're doing a prep for resale, or even if you want a fast way to make anything look fantastic, Universal All-in-One is the ticket. Um, as you see, I've got my uh, Harbor Freight DA and my orange Buff and Shine uh, five and a half inch pad, the Buff and Shine uh, five inch backing plate. Awesome combo. These should always be your first step when you're polishing, but there you go. Universal All-in-One is a dream to use. It wipes off easily. It has a fast working cycle. It is amazing. It is water-based, VOC-free. That's volatile organic compound. So it's safe for you to use, safe on the environment, easy to use can be used in direct sunlight and obviously will fix really shitty paint. <laughs> um, I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and start with Universal All-in-One on this trunk. You can see that I split it in half. So I'm going to go ahead and use Universal All-in-One on that side and see what it does for uh, that trunk lid because it did a lot for back here or up here I should say all right I'm gonna go ahead and polish half of that trunk with uh, the Harbor Freight DA 5 inch buff and shine orange pad and the universal all-in-one and we'll be right back all right boys and girls yes I do realize there's a generator running and a vacuum running in the background that's because we just got started on that F-250, but we just completed this BMW 328i. Uh, man, so we started with the interior. I got to admit, I didn't do a lot of this. I did get in and uh, wipe the windows down, but Tony did most of this, clean the leather. Uh, that is uh, dye that's missing. <laughs> um, everything on the inside's pretty clean. On the outside, you probably remember that the trunk lid was incredibly oxidized. Now it is not. It is still defect ridden, still not perfect, but I was able to cut probably 95% of that oxidation out and now it's glossy and you can't tell that it was oxidized. So that's good. Uh, I polished the whole car with uh, Universal All-in-One. <clears throat> I showed you guys the uh, little section I polished of uh, the hood here, but that's the whole hood polished. I also corrected the headlights and the fog lamps. I did that with a uh, 2000 grit sandpaper, then infinite cut, followed by universal all-in-one on all those lenses. Uh, the entire paint got universal all-in-one with the orange buff and shine pad. Back here on the trunk lid, I shot a couple of small videos uh, about what was happening back here. And uh, 
I did another a separate video you can find the universal all-in-one what it did to this and then uh, what the infinite cut did and then I went ahead and went straight back to the drawing board because I still had that tape line of nothing being done so I went ahead and compounded the whole trunk lid again twice with universe or I'm sorry uh, infinite cut with that orange pad then I followed that with universal all-in-one to enhance the gloss and give it some protection so that's that's where we're at now it's all done looks amazing uh, we got the wheels all clean uh, tires are dressed with universal dressing diluted one part product to seven parts water they look pretty good too all right thank you guys so much for listening to me babble and watching these videos i appreciate you guys taking the time to do that um, i truly appreciate uh, the amount of questions that I get based on the videos. I'm here to help you guys. I want to help you. So if you got questions about anything detailing related, reach out. I want to help. Uh, check out detailjuice.com for my products. Check out the services tab on the button bar on detailjuice.com for my services and the pricing for that. And uh, like I said, BMW 328i, prep for sale detail, and it looks amazing. It's got dings all over it and whatnot, but it looks great compared to what it did before we started. So, thanks again, guys, for watching. I appreciate you. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. I now have to get rolling on that truck. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys.